As we move ever closer to the big launch event for Samsung on the 11th of February, we were waiting for some bigger leaks of the Galaxy S20 series. But today we actually got a leak of the other phone being launched at the same launch event, the Galaxy Z Flip. This video has been leaked online by numerous sources, maybe the first being Ben Geskin, Ice Universe also posted this. We get a full hands-on look at this phone flipping up out to the full display and then flipping down again. The thing that strikes me most about this device is just how big the screen is when it's flipped out. The specifications of course have leaked online, apparently a 6.7 inch display when it is folded out. It looks absolutely huge. You can view a ton of content on this phone, but it also looks incredibly tall. The aspect ratio rumored to be 22 by nine. That is much taller than most normal phones. We're seeing more and more Android phones move to a taller aspect ratio for phones at 20 by nine. So this phone at 22 by nine certainly is extremely tall. This also means that you can flip it around and watch widescreen movies, play widescreen games. Of course, we can't see that on this hands-on video. The Galaxy Z Flip is expected to come with a Snapdragon 855 processor, two 12 megapixel cameras, an ultra wide and a main camera just to the side of that display which as you can see displays the time and is apparently also used as a small screen when taking selfies. Yes, apparently you can take selfies off those cameras when the device is actually shut. So even though the phone isn't a specs beast for sure, it really has almost year old internals from the processor and the cameras. It really is not about that. Of course, it is all about the design. This phone will be launched on the 11th alongside the S20 series phones and is expected to cost in the region of 13 or 1400 US dollars. Now that I've seen the real phone in the flesh, I think the design is actually way cooler than I even expected. You just get a huge screen and you can do so much with that and it does fold down into a smaller form factor. Of course, one of the main limiting factors to most normal smartphones is just how big the device will be when screen sizes grow. Most Android manufacturers now center around a six and a half inch screen, possibly pushing to 6.6 .6 or 6.7 for the biggest devices. But with a form factor like this, you can go even a little bit bigger. Another thing to note is that the selfie camera with the cutout in the middle isn't exactly tiny, it is on the larger side. And also the bezels around the whole phone are on the larger side too. But this is to be expected and as the design is perfected by Samsung, I'm sure that will all get smaller. In other news, Samsung have actually registered a trademark recently with the three letters UTG. It has been suggested that these three letters stand for ultra thin glass. This is the new type of glass technology that Samsung are using in their foldable devices that is way more hardy and scratch resistant than the current plastic that they're using in the Galaxy Fold. So it should mean for a longer lasting product. Samsung wants to sell 6 million foldable devices in 2020, and they are certainly not letting up with the designs. This looks like a really cool device. It may even steal the show from the S20 phones if that's possible. Let me know what you think. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.